Hi everyone, so it is time for another get ready with me. I actually wore this look on a date with my husband to a fall festival and I thought I would share some clips because it was absolutely stunning, definitely the epitome of fall in the Northeast. So today's video is going to be a collab with my beautiful friend Kayla from the channel Chic and Divine. We both decided to do simple eyes and a bold lip, which is of course the essential fall look. Make sure you check out her video and subscribe. She's one of the sweetest people ever and she's absolutely stunning. You guys are going to love her tutorials and her beauty videos, so I'll link her video below. Okay, so this look will take you less than five minutes. This is my go-to and easy five minute makeup look for fall, and you can always spice it up if you have a few extra minutes. So I already applied my foundation and filled in my eyebrows, and moving on to the eyes, I'm just going to start with my City Color Cosmetics Eye Primer and use this on my eyelids. It does a great job at just priming your eyelids and also canceling out any redness that you might have on your lids. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette and I'm going to be taking this shade and placing it right above my crease as a nice transition color. This is definitely the warmest shade in the palette so it helps to bring a little bit of warmth to the look but it just works perfectly as a transition color no matter what shades you're using in this palette. I'm going to use this natural shade and apply this all over my lids really quickly with a Real Techniques brush and just use this as my lid color. Then I'm going to take this brown on a really, really precise crease brush and just buff this into my crease. It's kind of like a mix between a cut crease and a blended out crease, if that makes sense. On days when I don't want to spend a lot of time on my makeup, I'm not too, too worried about it being incredibly blended, so I just want to get the color in the crease to define it a little bit more, and then I'll just blend it out a little bit if I have time. I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette and line my upper lash line with it, which you can leave it at that if you don't have any more time but I am going to go in with liquid liner as well. But before that, I'm going to smudge it on my lower lash line, and this is actually going to work as my eyeliner. I'm not lining my waterline, which is definitely different for me, but I think that it can be good if you're doing a bold lip to not put too, too much eye makeup on. So I'm just going in with my e.l.f. liquid liner and winging out my liner, but I'm doing a really thin line because while it's obviously not natural since it's, you know, eyeliner, it's going to be definitely more of a less dramatic eyeliner look. Okay, so I'm going to take the highlight shade, which is so beautiful. You can use this all over the lid as well, but I'm just going to use it in the inner corner and under the brow bone for today, just because I want a really, really simple look. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline One by One Mascara, and if you don't have time, you don't have to apply false lashes. I did have a few extra minutes today since it was kind of like a day date or a date night, even though it was in the afternoon. And so I did apply some false lashes, but of course you can skip this step. I've kind of nailed it down, so it only takes me like two minutes, one minute for each eye, which is nice. But, you know, if you don't have the time, that's perfectly fine as well. Then I'm just going to bronze up my skin with my Hoola bronzer. I chose this one because it is matte and it's a little bit more cool toned than other bronzers, at least on my skin tone, so it goes perfectly with the eye look. And then I just applied a really, really natural blush. This is Exposed by Tarte, and it's a really natural skin tone color, so it's not going to pull away from the eye look or the lips. We want the focus to be on the lips. But of course, not everyone likes dramatic lips, which I totally get. So if you wanted to keep this lip simple or this look simple, you could just apply a light pink. This one is by the Solo Look and it is amazing. If you guys are looking for a good matte lip color, I would definitely recommend this one. But again, if you want a natural look, this is for you. But of course, during the fall, I love my bold lips. So I'm actually going to be going in with this lip liner from City Color Cosmetics, which I love their lip liners. Don't even get me started on them. And then I'm going to be taking Sugar Plum Fairy by Wet n Wild, which is just so beautiful. A little trick, if you go outside the lines, just take some foundation on a Q-tip and clean up around the edges and it works like magic. So that is the final look with my Sugar Plum Fairy, but I did wanna give you guys one more lip option, which is definitely out of my comfort zone, and while I'm editing this video, I went back and I thought, this color is not my color, but this one's by Wet n Wild as well. It is a super, super dark, vampy purple color, so if you're looking to step out of your comfort zone or looking for a good Halloween lipstick, this might be the one for you. Let me know in the comments below which lip color you guys liked best, and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.